So we're out in the morning walk again. Rufus is there or something. Oh yeah. Uh, we're just up at the we go around the showgrounds in my town. Because there's really nice views from up here. Um, we kind of got a wee bit soaked this morning, which happens quite often. Um, so this is how I start off every morning, pretty much. So I'm just going to take you through my day and maybe talk about some yarn and show you what whips I've got and what um, finished objects I've got. And yeah, hope you enjoy. finished and some new yarns that are coming to the shop so um, Rufus is just I keep looking down here because the dog keeps trying to steal my yarn so I have to ward him off so I'll show you first um, <clears throat> there's a couple of wee things I want to talk about some of you might have seen in the most recent line of magazine that I had a little article um, just about how I got started dyeing 
and um, some photographs of me dying and knitting around the north coast. So you might have seen that. Um, thanks uh, to anyone who sent messages. So they enjoyed it. Um, it's nice to hear that. Um, and also I had some yarn, I think most of you know this by now, in a project designed by Fibre Tales, who is Lerka. And she designed this beautiful sweater in my BFL Massim DK in the colourway Peony. I would say the colour is ever so slightly more pink than purple in real life. Um, sometimes it's hard to tell because colour changes like when you print it and when you photograph it and um, all of that and filters and stuff. I think I spoke very briefly about that the other day in my stories. It can change like the tones of a photograph. So yeah, I would say it's ever so slightly more pink in real life. So, and I had kits for sale for this. Um, I've done two rounds of kits now for it. I think I'll do a third one, but I can't promise when because I have a very tight dye schedule and I have a tendency to take too many things on and then get really stressed out. So, <laughs> um, but um, that will definitely be happening sometime in the future. So yeah, that's exciting. I got this mug, I was at a festival in the summer called Greenbelt and there was a ceramicist there called Jane Follett and I got this mug at her stall. I really like her ceramics. Um, I'm drinking some of the pugga tea in the chai, it's really good. So yeah, so that's the first thing I wanted to talk about, so just in case you hadn't seen it. Um, Every time I wear this, some of you comment on it, on my stories, and ask what it is. So this is the Stay Soft, Stay, Stay, Stay Soft Shawl by Vera Valamaki, and it's knitted in my BFL Gotland four ply, which is um, 350 meters per 100 grams, um, and it's in my colorway. This is Heather. And then the grey is the natural colour and the teal colour is, I don't know if it had a name. Um, but anyway, I've made kits for this in for the next shop update. Um, you will get the three colours. They're a tiny bit different. I would say the teal is lighter. And instead of the heather colour, I've done peony. So, but it's very similar and the colours will look really, really good together. So this is knit up by one of my sample knitters. It's a nice big shawl. You can wear it like this or I tend to put it around twice actually. Just like this. This is not a very fashionable way to wear things but whenever you're out walking the dog and the rain's just blasting down on you I just get it up nice and cozy around me. So there's this. So yeah, there'll be a few kits for this in the next update. Um, thing I have just finished that I will in the future make kits for is my... Rufus just is dragging his bed across the room. Um, he does this during the day, I don't know if he wants to sit somewhere else in the house. It's quite random, but yeah, so I finished my no frill swear. I haven't blocked it yet. Um, I wasn't entirely happy with the bind off. I did a Jenny's stretchy bind off. Um, but I thought maybe it was a bit, I don't know if it looked a bit untidy. Oops. If it looked a bit untidy or something, but it is nice and stretchy, so that's good. So this was knitted, I think in my Odyssey colorway. I don't have any of this in the update yet, but I think I will do kits for this in the future. Um, I think I will do the kits in the peony because I think it will look really nice um, in that colour and maybe another colour, I don't know what. But So I will do kits for this at some point but I have quite a lot of um, I don't know 
know what just happened there. My phone switched off. I think I must be running out of space in my phone, so I better go quickly. So yeah, I'll be doing kits for this at some stage. I don't know when, but I will let you know. And um, once I figure out meterage and whenever I have a space in my dye schedule. Um, I also, in my all in new bag, um, I'm actually doing a collaboration with Nicola and we're going to be putting some bags in the shop um, in the next few months. Um, it's not going to be the Christmas tree or just the tree design. Uh, it's going to be a different design that she did that I absolutely love. She sent me samples of them. They're absolutely beautiful. I think you'll really like them. So there's that. So, um, so I finished these mitts. I made up the pattern with the help from my friend. Um, Kim, who I was doing the trunk show with, um, because when I was there, I was I finished off my no frills sweater, and I didn't have any yarn and I didn't have any needles needles. So I was like, oh no, I better like grab something off the stall and like start knitting. So I picked this colorway. It was an oak colorway, but it looks quite, uh, yeah, it looks quite like the coral pe uh, colorway that I have in this update. I actually have it here. Pretty similar. And so my plan with these is to maybe embroider something on them. Um, I have a relative who's very good at embroidery, so maybe she could help me. Um, I don't know if she watches this or not, but if she does, she'll um, she'll know it's her. <laughs> Okay, um, so that's all my finished objects. As you can tell, I don't knit very fast because in my last podcast in January, I was still knitting this sweater. It is a finger and weight sweater, so it does take a while, but um, I'm not a very fast knitter. I do the English throwing style and uh, I don't have that much time to knit, maybe like an hour in the evening when you know, on a good night, on a bad night, there'll be no wars, <laughs> either because I'm out or doing something. So, I was looking for a shawl pattern that had lots of colours in it. Um, I wanted to show off uh, some mini skeins that I dyed up. And I seen on Homespun House's stories, I think, um, a shawl that she started knitting by Tammy Gore. Um, called the colour craze shawl. I was like, okay, that would be so perfect to show off the mini skein set. So, I, this is the new mini skein set I have for this update. I don't have loads and loads of them, but I will be making more. These are repeatable colour ways, so I will be making more. So I have a few of these. The dog's trying to get out now. <laughs> these are five 20 gram minis. And this is how they come, in a little bundle, tied up with Irish linen. Um, so, and my main colour is um, a new colourway called Roz. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Um, and this colourway, I dyed up the colourway, I had this idea for it. And it really reminded me of the colours that um, I met this lady called Roz when I was over in Bristol and the colours she was wearing um, really reminded me of the, this colour that I dyed so I called the colour Roz. hope you don't mind Roz if you're watching. <laughs> um, so this is my main colour with these. Um, so I'm not sure yardage wise if I'll have enough for, if I'll have to add an extra. But I do, what I might do is, if I run out, I do have peony as well, which will look really nice with them. And I also have a little bit of indigo dyed blue that I have left over, so that'll be really nice together, I think. So that's exciting. So, um, the next thing I'm going to do is show you some yarns that are coming to the shop on Sunday, on St. Patrick's Day. Um, I've never done a Sunday update before, um, I 
generally don't work at weekends um, but I thought it'd be quite fun to do one on St Patrick's Day and I have a few like green yarns and yarns with green in them that would be nice to pair up with different things. So I brought down a few of my new colours and um, I thought it might be easier to show you nice um, colour ways that go together this way so I will show you what I have. So this is sock set two. This is the orchid colourway and a little dark red mini which doesn't have a name. Um, so this is sock set. I know a lot of you have been asking for sock sets. This is the other sock set. This is jasmine for the main colour and again the dark red mini. Sorry my sink's creaking a lot. This is a new colourway called Party in the Common Room. I was listening to it was Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix when I was dying this and I was like, oh, that'd be kind of cool. So Party in the Common Room, inspired by when Harry and Ginny kiss. <laughs> um, this is just the Orga colourway I showed you there. I, so yeah, you can kind of tell I went a bit rogue with these colours. I was dying and dying and dying the same colours over and over again and I just went kind of crazy because my wholesale order is like you have to kind of dye the same thing and then I just went completely rogue and started dyeing all this like crazy colour stuff. Um, but I really enjoyed it. Sometimes you just have to do something different to to feel more creative and to feel more fulfilled and kind of to keep things interesting for you otherwise you just get bored so and I know people like love certain colors sometimes I just want to try something different it's probably like um you know if you're in a band and you play gigs the crowd just want to hear all the like all the ones they know all the like all the hits but sometimes I'm sure the bands are like oh let's play new songs <laughs> so it's just like that anyway this is a new colorway called Hatch so yeah I'm getting quite into this kind of speckledy thing Um, it just I don't know it's just a little phase I'm going through it's quite fun so in this colorway the speckles just are in one area of the skein um, but in some like orchid they're more mixed and part in the common room they're kind of more in one area as well so you can kind of tell that by looking at it though that it's more in this area um this is a new no this isn't a new colorway this is an old colorway called fern it's quite variegated um you can tell like the dye is took up more in some areas than other areas and I think that's really fun to knit with. I mean some people don't like that because it doesn't knit up as like completely solid colour but sometimes I don't move them in the pots on purpose to make variation um, just because I think it's kind of interesting looking. It's more interesting to knit with I think as well. I don't know. Depends what you're doing though. Depends what effect you want. Um, this is another green one. I called this one Patrick. I quite like this colour. Um, it would go with really really well. I think with the jasmine. Look at that. That's nice together. I don't know what else it would go with maybe. Maybe orchid? No. Maybe. Ooh, I know. That's a nice mix. Coral, Jasmine and Patrick. That's good. I like that. So yeah, this is a new coral colourway. Um, coral, I find, has not always been popular in the shop. But I am totally into it at the moment. Even in the, around the house, I keep picking coral coloured things. It's like coral and this teal colour together. I don't know, I love it. And obviously I knitted my mitts in it. 
and it's in the mini skein set and I just think it goes so well with so many different colours. Um, it looks a wee bit more orange in the video than it is in real life, it's more like a wee bit more coral. So um, I really like it and I think it looks better in real life than it does on the screen. Um, so I also have some nice yellows. Um, they're all one of a kind colour wise because I don't know if I'll be able to make them again. They were all dyed with onion skins. Um, so this is Oak 6. It's real, this is like a true mustard. Um, then Oak 1 is more like a butter yellow. And then Oak 7 is the exhaust of Oak 6, I believe. So these look, I think these look really cool together. Actually, I like all three together. I'll try with this, maybe. Or with this. Ooh, that's nice. Um, so I have a few yellows. Um, I like a good yellow. For some reason, when I started dyeing, I wasn't really... wasn't, like, majorly into yellow. But now, I think I really like... Since I started dyeing, I really like a lot of colours that I didn't like before, like pink and yellow and I really like, I don't know, I think I like dyeing all the colours. It's the variety. Variety is the spice of life, as they say. Um, and of course, we are going to have these beautiful bags by Hedgerow Designs in the shop. I'll show your label. Um, Catherine Frere Smith is um, the owner of Hedgerow Designs and I met Catherine when I was at uni and she uh, was always amazing at drawing. Um, she did textile design, at, I think you can tell, because she like draws all of this and then she gets it printed and then she makes the bags. So she is one talented lady. Um, so I feel so, so privileged to have some of her things in the shop because it must take her ages to make them and yeah, uh, they're beautiful. So I have just a limited number of these bags. I think I have like nine actually, nine or ten. Um, and they would be just perfect for putting your you know, your sock skeins in or like this fits so nice like it will be perfect for socks or mitts or anything like that. Um, I would say they're quite a similar size to my Alex Collins sock sacks which is now all sold out but um, they're finished off with a tiny bit of velvet and this is linen and cotton I think on the inside. Um, but you can check out Catherine's website and her Instagram for more info about how she works and um, what she does. She does quite a lot of things to minimise waste um, in her making process. And